Welcome to my loose cannon build, you gun loving bastards. This is firearms based build and it is very OP one. Great thing about this build is that you don't need ultimate at all to make it fantastic. It can be used from early on and it will work very well as long as you invest into good weapon. All the footage that you see here has been recorded on hard difficulty and I've specifically picked tougher fights so that there is some kind of a challenge but I failed to find one. Here is the build. Start off with technical class. That will unlock firearms and traps. After that go for stasis. We need upgrades from firearm tree all the way to roll dodge. Parallel to that we need upgrades for stasis all the way up to shield of the enlightened. We do not purchase shield of the enlightened because we don't need it. The most important upgrade is the last one which makes enemies that have been put into stasis take 50% more damage. After that we go to traps and then level all the way to bomb and its upgrades. Traps are used during the early game when we do not have vile throw yet. The only trap and vile that we are going to use is stasis one. You might think why the hell am I going for this if I already have stasis magic. Well the thing is stasis trap and stasis vial do not benefit from 50% damage increase upon next hit like stasis magic does. Stasis trap and stasis vials are used for mass crowd control while stasis magic is used for increased DPS against single target. The last thing that you can spend points on are these four upgrades after dodge roll that would increase fury generation and damage done from behind. Increased fury generation and damage done from behind both work with firearms as well. As for attributes the only thing that we need is accuracy to increase firearms damage and trap damage. Next to that we can put couple of points into willpower to get some necklaces and amulets but more than two is just an overkill. Third attribute that you can spend points on is endurance to wear heavy armor and generally increase survivability. Important talent is science for this build. Considering that we are only using firearms we're gonna need ton of bullets. With science level 3 we can craft more bullets with fewer ingredients. As for gear I really don't need to give you any advice here because you just have to use the best thing that you have at the moment, that's it. Invest into a pistol or a rifle, whichever one you want, both are fine. In this video I'm using pistol because it has huge rate of fire but bullet consumption goes through the roof. With rifle you're gonna do more damage but your rate of fire will be much lower. Now let's talk about how to play this build and why is it so overpowered. The reason why this is so good is because of crowd control. If you don't have vials unlocked put down stasis trap, if you have vials unlocked then throw vial into the group of enemies. After that use magic stasis on an enemy that you want to gun down as quickly as possible and then start shooting at the bastard while using stasis all the time to get that increased bonus damage. Remember that if you shoot an enemy from behind you get increased fury generation and increased damage done by 20%. That's really all there is to it. We must crowd control enemies and then pick them off one by one as we see fit. They can't even get to us due to all the stasis bollocks that we put onto them, be it from traps, vials or magic, while constantly shooting them in their ugly faces. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching and see you soon.